Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, lock design pattern. First we will see the explanation of uh, lock design pattern. This is the explanation. One thread puts uh, lock on your resource preventing other threads from accessing or modifying it. We will see one example so that uh, you will understand this sentence easily. <coughs> in down you can see STFC bank account and in that account uh, balance is uh, 1000 rupees and this bank account is shared by two people one is uh, John another one is uh, Tina both are husband and wife so they are sharing uh, this account so at any point of time uh, they can withdraw only thousand rupees from this uh, bank account okay and uh, right side you can see a uh, withdraw method uh, so when uh, request come for withdraw this method will be called uh, here you have to pass how much amount do you want to withdraw the amount should be greater than zero and it should be red less than the balance in the uh, HDFC account. If uh, these conditions are okay, then uh, uh, it will uh, it will uh, it will allow to withdraw the money from the particular account. And also, it will uh, balance minus amount. Uh, it will do, and uh, remaining balance will be maintained in the HDFC bank account. Uh, assume uh, John is uh, one thread, thread A, and uh, Tina is another thread. Okay. Uh, so John uh, tries to withdraw thousand rupees from the HDFC bank account. So that thread uh, come to this method. So it comes thousand uh, rupees. Okay. So it will it will come to this method passing the thousand rupees. Uh, it will check the precondition amount greater than zero. Yes, thousand rupees is greater than zero. <coughs> then it will check this condition. Uh, the amount less than uh, balance but uh, the amount is not less than balance it is equal so this condition will be passed so then uh, the thread a will come to this position okay so when it comes to this position the thread a uh, goes to sleep mode suppose say uh, uh, tina thread is uh, also trying to withdraw thousand rupees so that thread has come so it allows the thread a allows thread b to take care of uh, his uh, their that work so thread a goes to sleep mode at this point when it reaches the else condition so it didn't uh, retrieve any money from the stfc bank but it went to sleep mode at this point uh, this else condition okay so till uh, balance is uh, thousand rupees then tina comes in and uh, tina also uh, trying to withdraw thousand rupees this uh, this all the things are happening at the same time okay so <coughs> thread b uh, enter into this method it will check uh, the amount 1000 rupees is greater than zero yes greater than zero it is not less than the balance uh, then it comes here and uh, it uh, it reduce uh, uh, balance minus amount 1000 1000 uh, 1000 minus 1000 zero so balance becomes zero and uh, tina withdraw the 1000 rupees okay so now 1000 rupees uh, gone from the hdfc bank now Tina finishes the job, so thread B goes to uh, terminate state, and thread A na didn't finish the job. Okay, so thread A was in this position when it uh, when it allowed thread B to execute. So thread A comes, uh, so thread A is in this position, so it no need to uh, execute this this condition and this condition, the precondition amount or if balance was there like less than amount. Uh, it it is in this position. So now uh, now balance is zero. Zero minus uh, thousand is minus thousand, and John also withdraw thousand rupees from the bank account. Okay. Now what happens? Uh, Tina also uh, withdraw thousand rupees, and John also withdraw thousand uh, rupees. So two thousand rupees went from the bank account only thousand rupees was there but two thousand rupees uh, both have uh, taken from the account those thousand rupees uh, tina has taken and john has taken uh, thousand rupees so total two thousand rupees uh, they have taken from the uh, hdfc bank account but uh, the hdfc bank account has only thousand rupees so this is not correct if uh, uh, if two or more threads come uh, access the bank account simultaneously 
then uh, this kind of uh, mess-up will happen and uh, this is not correct so to avoid this scenario what we have to do is we have to make uh, this method as synchronized so once this method is make it as synchronized uh, <coughs> if thread a comes to this method until thread a finishes the job of uh, uh, withdraw other thread cannot able to enter into this thread so at a time only one thread can access this method other thread has to wait till the uh, thread a finishes the job suppose say thread a is uh, uh, withdrawing some money from this uh, uh, bank account this is a bank account resource till thread a finishes the job thread b can't uh, do any uh, any operation on this withdraw method so now if you read this sentence you will understand one threads uh, put a lock on resource preventing other threads from accessing or modifying it so in this case when thread a with, uh, when thread a is withdrawing money from this bank account thread b can't enter into the uh, withdraw method to withdraw some money so till thread a finishes the withdraw method uh, functionality thread b has to wait or other thread is there means other thread also has to wait so in this way we can avoid uh, the concurrency problems okay so this is about uh, uh, lock design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye